Guyana, land of many waters, an independent country of six races, we are one people, one nation, one destiny. Georgetown, the capital of Guyana, the garden city, established by the British in 1812. Now the center of commerce, as it sits on the edge of the North Atlantic coastline. Left she mommy, who go marry, put one go ring, stupid go ring, stupid lily gal, lily gal, lily gal, lily gal, what make your braces so? Lily gal, lily gal, lily gal, lily gal, what make your braces so? Long, long time, lily gal, are we now? Ride with us as we visit the city. Regent Street is the busiest shopping district in the city of Georgetown. Here you'll find Guyanese from all walks of life converging to conduct business. Stabrook Market, established 1881, a prominent landmark in Georgetown, with the largest clock tower in Guyana. Over 1,000 stalls of every conceivable type could be found in this market. Fruits here are always fresh and wholesome. Stabrook Market extends over the waters of the Demerara River, 
and it serves as a major transportation hub for thousands of commuters who ply the Demerara crossing by river taxi daily. St. George's Cathedral, ranked as one of the tallest wooden structures in the Caribbean, an architectural masterpiece that seats 1,500 persons. The foundation stone was laid in 1889 for the commencement of work on this historic church. Five years later, in 1894, this magnificent cathedral was consecrated. Our Atlantic coastline extends for 264 miles. 90% of our population resides along this narrow strip of our coastal belt. 160 miles of this coastline is protected by a sea defense system, both natural and man-made. We fly over our coastline in the Essequibo region from Punta Playa along the brown sands of the shell beaches Point Kokali the mud flats of Dartmouth to the sea walls of Georgetown Journey with us as we depart Georgetown for the 1.8 billion years old Pacaraima mountain range. Located in the western frontier of Guyana, where we will visit a few waterfalls and villages. The peak, located in an area known as the Kurapung Mountains, an area renowned for large diamonds. There you will find the source of the East Kurapung River. Along this river, you will find the little known but regal waterfall, Kumarau. With a sheer drop of 640 feet and 200 feet wide in the wet season, this spectacular waterfall's imposing appearance takes on a grandeur all on its own. Kumarau Falls was considered as most suitable for hydropower generation in the late 70s. The drainage area that produces this magnificent flow is greater than 215 square miles. Love the open country of the Rupanuni and the Essequibo, the time or night. Though we'll be criticizing it, this is our home, we love it, and we mean to keep it, we have that right. Let's now but fly around the Kumarau in the dry we season. No tree. We ain't giving up no river that belong to me, not one blue sake. Not one rice grain, not one for us, not a blade of grass, not one golden apple, not one jamun, not a drop of water from the former rule. We are a peaceful people. Struggling, we struggle, and we don't look for trouble, just ask around. But when outside faces from far We depart Kumarau Falls for Eping Gorge. It is a narrow passage through the Thomasing and the Watabaru mountain range.